Welcome back guys, Jimmy Jules 153 here again with another episode of Short Circuits. Today we'll be going over how to make a score multiplier where your multiplier increases each time you kill an enemy. This is the setup here and I'll be taking you through how to make this. You can ignore these blue microchips here. These are just the text boxes that are displaying what's happening. This setup works by picking up tags, so all you'll need on the enemy is one tag that activates when they die. When I simulate killing an enemy here by turning on this tag, you can see our multiplier increases each time the tag gets activated and then resets if we don't kill an enemy within a certain amount of time. This setup also works for multiple enemies dying in the same frame. I'll activate two tags to simulate two enemies dying in the same frame. And you can see our multiplier is increased by two every time rather than one and we're given double the score that we normally would be. So let's go through how to make this now. There's a couple of gadgets that we'll know we need first up. One of those is a variable for keeping track of our multiplier. Another is a trigger zone to detect our tags with the enemies dying. And we'll need a score and a score modifier as well. We'll also grab out a calculator because we'll be using a few of these in this setup. Lastly, we'll just grab a variable modifier to modify our multiplier variable. And that's what we'll start out with. The first thing we'll look at is the trigger zone. Immediately, we'll want to come into the zone size page and set this to scene so it detects an enemy dying anywhere within the scene. The next thing we'll want to do is change this to detect tags and we'll detect the enemy dead tag, which is the tag that we'll place on our enemy. With those settings in place, we'll come back to this shortly. We'll rename our variable to multiplier, and we'll set the minimum value to be zero, and the maximum to be the maximum multiplier that we want our player to be able to achieve. For this example, I'm going to set it to 25. We're also going to need a base score to add to for this setup. So we'll grab out a value slider, and we'll change the maximum value. And I'm just going to set the score to be 100. So this will be the base score that we receive without a multiplier. This trigger zone will detect how many enemies have died in a single frame. So from this trigger zone, we'll use the number detected output and plug that into port A of a calculator. We'll set this calculator to multiply and then plug our base score into port B. This is going to multiply our base score by the number of enemies that have died. So for example, if two enemies die, it will multiply our 100 by two and give us 200. We'll need another calculator now for this next part, so we'll clone that. We'll plug our multiplier variable into port B of the calculator, and we'll plug our score from that frame into port A. So it's going to multiply our score by our multiplier. So for example, if we receive a score of 100 and our multiplier is 2, it'll increase it to 200. I've just realized we've set the minimum value for the multiplier variable to be 0, and we want this to be 1. This will mean that the score is always multiplied by at least 1. If it multiplies it by 0, we'll get a 0 score. Now we'll need a way to add to our multiplier variable when we kill an enemy. We'll use our variable modifier and tell this to update the multiplier variable. We're going to add to this variable and we'll turn this to continuous. We'll leave the slider at default and plug the number detected into the slider. You can see that if I activate this trigger zone now by simulating an enemy dying, the number detected output will modify this value to be the number of enemies that have died in that frame. If I activate this tag here, you can see that the variable modifier's value changes for a frame, and when we're in play mode, that updates our variable. Because we're using the number detected output, if we kill two enemies within the one frame, this slider will be changed to a two, and add two to our multiplier instead. With all of that set up, we can plug this calculator directly into the score modifier. In this score modifier's tweak menu, 
we'll change this to add, and we'll also set this to continuously while powered on. So you can see that if I simulate an enemy dying again, it updates our score. But you may notice something interesting. The first kill that we get updates our score by 200 rather than 100. That's because our variable modifier is increasing the multiplier at the same time that the kill is happening. So this is increasing before we want it to. A really easy way around that is to add a frame delay. We'll grab out any calculator, open the tweak menu, and plug the signal that we want to delay into port A of the calculator. We'll then plug the signal output from port A back around into port B. Then we can plug this signal back into where it was. This delays the signal by a frame because the calculator has to process what comes out of port A before it can process what comes out of port B. So it basically just delays the signal by a single logic frame. This will mean our multiplier doesn't update too soon and we'll get the correct score. If I test that again, you can see that when I get the first kill now, my score is now correctly 100 and the multiplier has increased to 2. If I was to turn on that again, you would see we'd get 200 added and the score multiplier is now 3. So that's basically what we need for our multiplier. We'll go one step further because we probably don't want our player to maintain their multiplier if they haven't killed anything for a while. So because we want to time something, we'll grab out a timer and we'll use this variable modifier again, so we'll clone that and change that to reset. So this will reset our multiplier after a certain amount of time. We'll plug the timer straight into the variable modifier and we'll also want this timer to reset itself when it's finished. We change the length on this timer based on how long we want the player to maintain their multiplier for. For this example, we'll do two seconds. We want this timer to stop and go back to zero whenever we get a kill. We'll use our same output from the trigger zone straight into the reset of the timer. And that should be basically all we need. You can see this timer is continuously going. And if we receive a kill, it will reset and keep resetting if we keep getting kills. But then if we don't get a kill for two seconds, it will reset our multiplier. So that is all we need for our score multiplier. So just to show you this working with the text boxes showing the scores and the multiplier, if we kill one enemy, it'll increase our multiplier by one. And then if we don't kill any enemies for a while, it will reset. And then if we kill two enemies at the same time, it will increase our multiplier by two and double the score. I've just stripped out some puppet logic here, and all I've got left on it is a health manager, a destroyer, and the enemy dead tag that we'd use. I've just got these puppets slowly taking damage, so they die, and I've got the no health plugged into a destroyer and plugged into the enemy dead tag. So when they lose all their health, they will get destroyed and activate that tag. You'll want to make sure this tag is only turned on for a single frame, or that will cause issues with the score multiplication. As long as they're being destroyed and the tag turns on in the same frame, you'll be fine. So with this setup, I've just got some puppets being emitted with this logic on them. And you can see as they die, our score and our multiplier is increasing. And then if we stop the emission, our multiplier will reset. We can start it again and the whole process will keep going. Anyway, guys, that's just about all for the score multiplier tutorial. Hope you found this one useful. If you've got any questions at all, definitely leave a comment, smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.